Hi everybody, Jo here again. How are you doing? Thanks for joining me today. It's lovely to have your company. Um, thank you for your support over the last couple of weeks. Um, obviously I've uh, unfortunately come down with Covid again, um, which is uh, a bit unfortunate after having Covid and then long Covid and having my jabs. But anyway, these things happen, don't they? So um, thank you for your support with my last few videos. Luckily they were all pre-recorded. So, um, so I'm hoping my voice will behave for this one. It's been a, a tricky couple of weeks, but you know what? It really made me appreciate just how, you know, when I get lovely messages from crafters that are at home and it made me appreciate what it is like when you're at home and um, just how lonely it can be and how important it is to keep coming into your craft room and crafting along with you. So, um, so from that point of view, and it's so lovely to hear from you. So thank you for all your support uh, and your wonderful messages. They really do make a difference. And also it made me realise, you know, when you're feeling under par and uh, no energy and, and, and not well, often you don't feel like, you know, we always say Mr Mojo goes on holiday, but he does and it's trying to get him back. So today I thought I'd come in and share with you how I almost come back to crafting, um, especially when I've not been feeling well. So for me, I go to a nice good old technique that almost I know and love. Go with comfortable on comfort something I can't speak. Hmm. Something that I'm comfortable with. And for me, it's blending. It took me quite a while to get a uh, blending sort of that I was happy with but once I got it a bit like that riding a bike thing um and and I love it it's my go-to thing so that's what I thought we'd do so I came up with this and again I'm using um got this lovely new stamp and um I thought it's so lovely to use him is is I mean he's just gorgeous isn't he and um so as I say that's what we're going now this is a DL card or a slimline card. I, I do love these cards. So the piece of card that I'm working on, my card blank, is eight inches by three and a half inches. I know a lot of you like um, your, your measurements in inches. And what we're going to do is, we're first of all going to just leave a little border down here. It's something I love doing just for the sentiment. Now I must admit for this, I'm going to use, I've got some um, Sweet Poppy stencil tape. Oh look, this is a new roll. So oh, we could be a while finding the end. Should be easy on a new roll, shouldn't it? Let's have a look. Here we go. There we go. We'll get rid of that. So I'll just tear myself a piece and rather than do it by eye, I'm just going to lift my mat here and don't judge me on the state of this, but I'm just going to use the grid. So if I put that there, because again, I don't know about you, but when I've not been well, my eyes trying to get something straight is not exactly good. Now I'm thinking about there. I don't want it in the middle. And I'm going for somewhere near the, the bottom. I could either tuck that under. Shall we tuck it under? And I've got my piece of kitchen roll. So I've gone for three colours that I think will blend nicely. So I've gone for mustard seed. <coughs> sorry, excuse me. Crackling campfire and seedless preserves. Now orange will go into red really well and into brown but I thought we'd mix it up a bit. We'll go seedless preserves today and I've got my three again round blending tools, smoothies, whatever you're happy with and I'm going to start again circular motions and I'm just going to start at the top with my yellow and I'm just going to come in about a third of the way down. A nice, easy blending, nothing too difficult, just circular motions. And this is just going to be a background, so don't worry yourself too much about what it looks like. And then what we're going to do is turn round and we're actually going to the base now. And I'm just moving slightly, I hope I'm still in shot, slightly out because I don't want to be where that area of yellow is. So I'm going to come in with my purple, my seedless preserves. Again, hold my card. And I'm going to blend right up 
to my tape. Again, circular motions, and I'm just mindful I want a nice coverage under where that tape is. And then I do want a little bit above my tape. And again, if you've got a good tape like this Sweet Poppy stencil one, it will stay flat. So what I'm going to do now is turn it round and come in with my orange in the middle. And this way I can blend into the yellow and into the purple at the same time. So I'll just check you can still see I'm liable to wander off. So if I come in now with the orange and again at first it will look a bit like a dog's dinner. So I don't want you to worry. I'm going to turn this round a bit because it will look like this but you just need to work on it. So if we work on the purple bit first, so where the orange and the purple meet, I'm just going to blend that a bit more. Then I'm going to come in with my purple tool and go back. I've not put any more ink on, I'm just blending. And come back in with the orange and blend again. And you see how that's just blended that area. So this is the area we need to work on now. So for this... We're going between the orange and the yellow. So again, I won't put any more ink on, but I'll just come in that area and do some circular motions. And then we'll come in with our yellow again. And I'm just going to blend that ink that's there. I can add some more if I want, but I just want to see how much actually will blend. And it's amazing, you know, when you've not been well, how tired you get just blending. So again, just take your time. Now, I'm just going to put a little bit more yellow on here. And I'm going to come in at the top and then blend that yellow down. And I'm actually going to put yellow over the whole of this area, almost to brighten it up a little. There we go. And I'm going to leave that now. I'm quite happy with that. I quite like this orange glow here. So again, um, we are going to flick some water on this. And as you know, your faux bleaching is fabulous. But we're going to do our stamping first. Because for me, I find if I do my faux bleaching, we'd have to wait for it to dry. So for me, I'm going to do my stamping and then we'll flick some water at it. That's just the way that I, for me, it works. You could flick water on this to faux bleach it and go and have a, a coffee, cheeky biscuit. But unfortunately, when we're together, we don't have that time. So we'll do our stamping. So let's find our little fip, our little man. And as always, I'm just going to turn it on the side. <coughs> sorry please forgive me I didn't want to not pop in so I'm really sorry I will try and behave <laughs> right we'll give him a nice nice bit of ink and I'm inking him up in black and I want him just stood on top of the tape just about there I'm thinking now there's quite a lot of blended ink and I've used my Distress Oxide ink only because they're the ones that are on my desk. I could have used my Elements, I could have used my Distress inks. Again, I've just gone for <laughs> easy life today. Things I can easy get to reach with my hands. <laughs> I think some days we just want that though, don't we? We're all like that. Now again, he's a silhouette, so give that ink time to soak in. And I don't know about you, but, and I bet you're the same. You know, if you've either not been well or you've lost your mojo or you're a bit fed or poor, to be honest, I find if the kids get me in a bit of a bad mood, things don't work the same. So do you know what? If your blending doesn't work as good as normal or your stamping doesn't work, it doesn't matter. There are ways around it. The main thing is you're going to create something and you know what? It's going to look lovely because we have ways around it. Right. 
Oh, there we go. Oh, he is beautiful. I do adore him. He does make me happy. And then to go with him, I've got the fairy lanterns, obviously, because he's got a little fairy lantern there. So I thought, let's use the fairy lanterns. Now, again, remember, you've got the acetate. So when I was designing this, I had a look and I thought, oh, do you know what? We could actually fit two in. But again, remember to use your acetate. Now, I'm not sure how low this one's going to come. I need to be mindful. I don't want to stamp that. I want it to look... Let me see. Am I still on that? Yeah. I want the shape to look nice with this, you see. But I want to make sure that the stem there... Oh, I think I smudged that a little. Do you know what? I think it rocked if it did. Like I say, it's one of those things. We shall see. But like I say, that's what happens. We're okay. We've got a slight there. I knew it had smudged, but don't worry. We can get around that, can't we? We'll just add that as shadow and nobody will ever know. It's how we get around these things. Right, so I'm going to stamp this again. Just want to. The main thing is if something like that happens, don't let it upset you. Don't let it, because once it gets in your head, I think then you almost get even more down. You know, you just have to be aware that when you're not 100% or Mr Mojo's gone, things will happen like that. And as I say, it's how we get round it. Don't let it get to you. We enjoy our crafting. You don't want it to become a chore. You really want to enjoy it, even if you're just not feeling 100%. There we go. Now, I do want to just add, before I blot it, I've got the mini lantern. And I want to just add this at the base here. So I'm going to stamp that. And I'm just going to add that. I'm thinking here. Now, one thing to be aware of is that your ink, we always blot it, obviously, because it's a slow drying ink that we're using. But the other thing to be aware of is that the ink will take longer to dry on your masking tape than it does on the card. So just be careful you don't touch that ink. So it's really important to give it a good a good blot. You don't want to smudge it because again, that would <laughs> it's one of those things that happens. You know, if you're having one of those days. So if we try and eliminate all those sorts of things, there we go. Yeah, that's looking lovely, isn't it? And do you know what? I think I'll do my black sharpie line now. Um, she says, "Oh, come on." If you noticed, I'm sure the little pixies come in and they, they move everything, don't they? Oh, we can't. We've got the tape on. We'll do that after. Change of plan. Right. I hate to think then. Again, I'm having one of those days and I'm sure you're like me. You think, what am I doing now? I need my black. There it is. Fine liner. And I just want to add at the top here, I just want to ground everything. Am I still in shot? And so I'm just going to use my fine liner here. Because obviously when we take the tape off, that's where our banner's going to be ready for our sentiment. So we'll just add a little bit of grass here and just ground. And then when we take that off, that'll be lovely. And you know what? We'll just add a little line at the bottom as well. Just, I think that'll just finish that off too. There we go. Now, there's lots of ways you can add colour. And what I'm going to do is I've gone for my chalk pastel pencils. Now, actually, to be honest, what I did think is this design, you could always leave like this if you wanted. But we're going to use the chalk pastel pencils. And for me, I'm just going to add a little bit of colour first to his wings. And then I'm going to come in and on each of the little lanterns, I'm going to add some yellow in the middle. And then I've gone for a dark sort of burgundy colour that I'm going to add at the top and the base. 
and then I've got sort of an orangey ready colour that I'm going to add around the edges and then somewhere I have got a little blending stump she says <laughs> everything's hiding on my desk today and with that, it just means I can blend. And I just wanted to have some almost nice, easy colouring. And when I've blended it, I'm just going to come in with the yellow again and add a bit more of a yellow hue in the middle. And that's all I'm going to do. And I'm just being mindful not to press my hand. So I'm going to actually colour the rest of them. I find it easier just if I do them, put that stump down. And, and again, for me, I just have a little routine of how to colour, just almost like so I don't have to think about it. And I'm sure you have a, a go-to way that you like to add colour. Now, you could use your intense pencils, and add water, you could put some more ink on your mat and watercolour them. As I say, lots of ways of adding colour. For me, I just thought today, do you know what? I just want a nice, easy way to add a little bit of colour, but not too much. And I just didn't want it to be too taxing, to be fair. So I'm just blending with this little stump. Now again, you could use um a biodegradable uh, cotton bud to do your blending. I just happen to have some of these little stumps in. And again, for me, just a nice, easy way. And what I'll do is it's when I go back in with the yellow again and just add, and then I just tend to use my finger for that. It just blends it and helps to seal it. There we go. And I just think that makes, as I say, for me, it was enough, enough, taxing enough for me today. So again, the yellow. Now this one obviously is quite dark. It's in the purple. But I don't want to add too much colour because I still want to see the beautiful stamping. Um, the image that, that Tracy, you know, she's drawn so much detail. So again, this one will blend. And as I say, don't worry that it doesn't look absolutely fabulous until you add that yellow on top and just... Let's add a nice bit there. There we go. But if I bring it a bit closer, can you see, you can still see the detail? Would help if I showed you the one I'm pointing at, wouldn't it? So you can still see that detail through, which is just what we want. And I think on his wing, I'll just add here a little bit of purple, just so we've got a bit of shading. Yeah, that's nice. And then for my highlight, I'm not going to use a white pencil today. I'm going to come in with, with my yellow. And I'm just going to add a little bit... I think I've the points a bit wobbly on this, but never mind. We can we can live with it. There we go. I don't want bright white highlights. The yellow I'm happy with today. And I'm also going to bring in my gold signal and just add a bit of sparkle on this vine that's going down. Look, and we'll add a bit of sparkle here bit on here little bit there I don't want to go over the top with the sparkle just a little can you see hopefully you can just pick that up and then now I'm going to bring in my, my faux bleaching so I've got my fan brush in a pot of water now if I want to protect any of the areas again I can just We'll get some nice bit there and then here. Like I say, for me, do this at this point. We'll just add a little bit more here. There we go. A little bit there. 
And again, I can just pat that when I think we've got enough. And that to me just adds to the background. Now, a little tip. If you've done your faux bleaching, so I'm just going to put my heat tool on. You can speed the drying up with your heat tool if you want. But also, if you've got low tack tape on and you use a heat tool, it will just help loosen the low tack tape. So if I just put that on there. So as well as drying my card, just put it on this side. So I'll dry my card, but also it'll just mean that the low tack tape will be even easier to pop off. So if you're worried that your tape wasn't low tack enough, again, just wish your heat tool over it and look, peels off like a dream. And then we've got a lovely space here for our sentiment. So let's put our Sharpie line round. Where did we put that Sharpie? Now again, take your time with this because we don't want it to go horribly wrong, do we? So make sure you hold the card down. And again, kitchen towel or copy of paper. You don't want at this point, you don't want to add dirty finger marks, do you? So again, put it down. And the last one, are you holding your breath? I am. Oh dear. There we go. You can relax now. So, what, which sentiment should we go for? So we've got the heartfelt verses. Now again, this will be an ideal card to actually leave. So I may leave this one because I'm thinking, look, birthday wishes would look lovely there. And I think this would be perfect for a birthday card. So, in fact, I will. Let's stamp up our birthday wishes. Pop it straight. But I think this would be a lovely... I mean, it could be a new home card. It could be a get well card. Right, I may just have to put my head... Now, I'm just going to put the birthday wishes to this side. You could pop it in the middle. I just like it over over this side. Now lastly, just for a little finishing trick, I'm just going to come in with, I've got a white pan pastel and just with my finger, I'm just going to add a little bit of white pastel. Just round a couple of these just to give a little bit more sort of sparkle. And again, you can add, can you see that? You can add as little or as much of this as you want. I don't want to add any more. I don't want to overcook it. Just think that adds that little bit. It's just so pretty. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. So that's all there is to it, really. As I say, I've gone for something. Do you know what? Let's just give him a little bit more. I think it just needs a little bit more sparkle on his wings and I don't think we added any sparkle there did we I do that do you do that say you finished and then you just go back and add a little bit more sparkle so there he is and if I bring our original one in and open it up we can pop him on there look he's a, he's a bit tall he, he does he only just fits in look now, again, you could always add the, the moon mask here, but I, I like that space. I think it's nice to have a little bit of space because we've got so much going on here. I didn't want to overcook it. And I love the white band when the card's on the white frame. So I'm hoping you enjoyed that. Thank you very much for joining me. You take care and I'll see you again soon. Love and hugs from me. Bye for now.